Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, I welcome you for the webinar on cloud computing by the Y Hills. Uh, y Hills is nothing but uh, it's a company. Y Hills learn beyond expectations of us. And webinar on cloud computing. Our chief guest is. Uh, I'll let you know our chief guest in soon. Uh, he's here with us to have uh, some words, and he he's here with us uh, to share his information, his career, and uh, he's here with uh, to share uh, uh, his career about us. And like, okay, just wait. Okay then. Yeah. Okay, our chief guest. The spectacular people with profound knowledge share their entity. You not only learn but also gain wisdom today. Here we have one such person with us who has taken out time for us out his schedule to come and share his knowledge about the tech world. Uh, he is none other than uh, Mr. Rajat Prakash, cloud engineer. Uh, sir, are you here? Hey, sorry, I was talking on mute. Yeah, so how was your? Just give me a second, one second. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. OK, fine. Uh, so a very good evening to everyone. I hope my voice is loud and clear to each one of you. Yes, sir. OK, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. So um, yeah. shall we begin with our session or like uh, uh, we shall are we waiting for someone? or others to join? So Surya, can you confirm that? Uh, shall we begin? Yes, sir, we can begin. Yes, OK, perfect. Just. So I hope you are able to see my screen. Yes, sir, we can see your screen. Yes, sir. OK, perfect. Yes, sir. Just give me a second. OK, so I believe uh, we are good to go with our today's uh, webinar. So a very warm uh, welcome to each one of you who is attending the today's webinar about cloud computing or you can say cloud technology. OK, so basically today we are here to discuss about the basic fundamentals of cloud. OK, so even if you are new to the today's webinar, you're know, like even if you are today uh, like you are new to the complete cloud word as well. So today we are going to see those aspects. What is cloud? What is booming in the current market? And um, as we are uh, young enthusiasts, right? So we will be definitely digging it into and we will be researching that. What do you what do you mean by the cloud? Why the people are moving towards the cloud? OK, so before that, uh, let's start with our um, that is mine introduction so that you would be naming to understand who am I? So my name is Rajat Prakash. I am a Microsoft certified trainer and uh, I have been experience of conducting more than 50 plus training sessions on Microsoft Azure and uh, I have been also involved in training, uh, including 500 plus participants. OK, and um, I have been given in the various corporate trainings. Corporate trainings basically, uh, you mean uh, the trainings which you are giving in for the corporate world, like for the various MNCs. OK, I'm a part of a dynamic group for delivering high engagement training outcomes uh, for the various corporate clients. OK, and I have I'm a content creator. I have written certain blogs on the cloud technology, especially on the Azure. OK, and this is all about my technical aspects. Where do I stand? OK, and what are the certifications? And uh, again, how many years of experience I'm having? So I'm having overall of six plus years of experience in the total technical domain and a, a relevant five years of experience in the corporate training. OK, so this is about me. OK, and uh, uh, so I would request uh, the admin to please, uh, please, if you can mute uh, the other participants so that it won't disturb the class. Uh, can we do so? Uh, yes, sir, we can do that.
Pero en Vicente Nay. Muy claro. Tell your sound or not coming. Yeah. Uh, am I audible now? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are okay. audible. Okay. Okay. So let's start with our uh, first discussion. That is, what is cloud computing basically? Okay. So, yeah. Anyone want to say something? No. Okay. So. OK, so I would request again the admin to please uh, mute uh, if uh, anyone is not talking so that it won't disturb uh, the whole class. OK, yeah, thank yes, you. Yes, I will do that. Sure. Thank you. OK, so let's start and understand what is the word means cloud computing. So cloud computing means that cloud plus computing. It is over two words combination, right? Cloud computing. Yes, it is booming in the market and now we are here to understand that. So this is a perfect definition of the cloud computing guys. What is cloud? It is a use of remote servers onto the Internet. Manage and process the data rather than the local server or on your personal computer. Let's suppose I would be taking from a very scratch. Let's suppose you have a laptop. OK, you have a laptop, beautiful laptop with you and you have a data in this laptop. You have a data in this laptop. Now what is this data is doing? You are having the data application or you're hosting basically the uh, data. That is a particular device where you're hosting the data is called server. Yes or no? A particular place where you're hosting your data applications like that, just like a normal which you're doing in your maybe in your college laptops or the corporate laptop, you're saving the data, right? So you are having the data where that is called as server. First of all, that is called as server. First thing. Now, if you have the data in your particular location, okay, so you are using anyway, you are using this laptop. Yes or no? You are paying a huge amount of money and you are using this laptop. OK, but cloud computing say that cloud computing understand and make you understand that if you want to store the data, let's suppose if you want to store the application, why you are purchasing this much, uh, um, why you're investing huge amount of money in a particular device, in a particular laptop. Instead of that, you can take the same functionality of servers from the cloud vendor. OK, so if you have this requirement, oh, let's suppose you have a requirement for two months. Let's suppose you have a requirement for four months, whatever it is. So instead of purchasing this laptop um, and you are doing, let's suppose a major project, major project for your uh, corp uh, like office, uh, like for your college fourth in the fourth year, right? Now in that case is you are purchasing your laptop or you're doing a lot of stuff over there. But if you are getting the same functionality of the uh, particular resource in the cloud, then what you are doing, you are just deploying this machine. You're deploying this particular a kind of a laptop you are deploying in the cloud and you are taking an advantage of it. OK, and what happened after two months after two months, you will be able to delete this machine. OK, so here you are not able to pay the huge amount of money, but instead of that you are using it only for two months. Are you getting my point? OK, so instead of purchasing or investing a huge amount of money, cloud computing is basically here to make you rent out the things. Let's suppose you need a storage. You should rent out and you should do your work. Delete it. OK, second, you are you are requiring a server. You are using it for two months after that. Delete it. Are you getting? Can you delete your laptop? No. You have invested amount 40,000, 50,000, 30,000, whatever it is. But again, here you need to understand that here you are renting out the thing. So whenever any person says that what is cloud, it is mainly on the renting out the things instead of purchasing them. Am I clear which each one of you? Is it clear? Yes or no? OK, yes, sir. OK, so now if this is clear, so now you are clear with this that the cloud is more than that. Here you are not only getting the here. You are not only getting uh, the particular uh, uh, only the server. You are getting the main complete thing storage database, whatever it is. We will study about them. OK, but today's session is very on the very basic terms. So I'm just starting from the very scratch. OK, so it is a use of remote server onto the Internet means for using the cloud computing. What you require Internet. 
right you require the internet to store manage and process the data rather than rather than on your local server or your personal computer so you do not need to take a headache on managing the data on your own you are managing on someone else place let's suppose i am staying let's suppose in bangalore and i am hosting my data from delhi location yes that is possible in the cloud computing okay so this is all about the uh, particular aspect of the cloud computing where does it stand and again my friend i told you there are a lot of things to understand we cannot cover each one of them in a one hour session but yes we should be very much confident after this session yes we know the basics of cloud okay so let's move forward so this is again the same definition we have spoke the word cloud in the cloud computing refer to the network or the internet cloud computing is a type of internet based computing always remember two things whenever anyone is speaking about the cloud always remember two thing it is an internet based okay internet based and one more thing whatever second thing is rent renting out renting out the resources renting out the resources why i am writing writing like a class teacher because more you write more familiar you make the learners learn about your terms right so that's why so you can note it down from this class okay so this is from this webinar sorry that is internet based it is an internet based cloud computing and also here you are renting out the thing rather than purchasing them okay so these things are there which we have talked about okay now what you will expect what you will expect in your uh, campuses interviews okay what kind of questions again because we are we are ultimately learning to understand the term and to clear the interview to crack the various interviews so you can mark this question as an important now if you understand what is cloud computing now here you can understand that there are certain aspects of cloud computing now what is that we are having something called as cloud models now sir what is cloud models cloud models on this particular aspects how your cloud computing works how your cloud computing works means it means that how your cloud computing is assigning the resources when i say cloud computing you can it can be server when i say cloud computing it can be storage solution multiple aspects okay which you are managing at your like uh, offices or various corporate right so here i am talking about completely cloud computing how the cloud computing works this model will decide now sir what is cloud model cloud model is divided into two parts service model and your deployment model service model and your deployment model understood now you need to understand that there are two type of models actually that is called cloud models that is called first is your service model and second is your deployment model so service model is giving you the idea how you are getting the services how you are getting a service from your vendor or from your particular person let's let's understand like this let's suppose you uh, have uh, purchased a um, normal uh, let's suppose what which uh, household item should i pick let's suppose you have purchased one um, let's suppose washing machine or any any particular thing of uh, various household right so that particular vendor is giving you for particular uh, some time of ser services or a demonstration these are the demos are free or this kind of um, uh, maintenance uh, cost after your purchase the device it is free for one year this much service you can do or your bike or your car you can say right the uh, that is called a service let's suppose today you purchase a bike okay and for next uh, one year two services are free on your particular bike okay so the same thing the cloud model is saying that how you are actually getting the service how you are actually getting the service that can be divided decided by the cloud service model and second thing how your data is been actually stored how your data is been actually stored in the cloud that has been decided by the deployment model am i clear okay so service model and deployment model service model means how you are getting the service from your vendor deployment models means how your data is been actually stored how your data is been actually stored okay now so if we so in the service model we are having this beautiful concepts in the service model and in the deployment model we will be having this concept in the deployment model we will talk about these things in the next slides but just tell me are you clear with this cloud model at least a basic overview what is service model yes, sir. 
okay so if you are clear with the particular concept okay if you are clear with the particular concept let's explore these terms why why sir why we need to explore this term because okay. when you whenever you will work in the uh, corporate or whenever you will work in the various mncs or is itself you are hosting your own cloud computing technology these resource these terminology you should be aware about okay so that is what if you know about the cloud computing these basics you should be knowing okay so let's start with uh, the our further discussion okay now the first thing is your service model so service model okay so i know many of you like the pizza right how uh, anyone is there in the crowd who don't like pizza everyone like pizza right okay so silence says everyone uh, likes pizza okay so i am take i am trying uh, my best to explain you the service model service model means how you are getting the service using this pizza as a service using as a pizza as a service okay so i have uh, taken this snap to explain my other learners also regarding the pizza as a service so here you can understand that first of all uh, just look on this per particular box only guys look on this particular box don't look for these uh, three just look for this thing when you are making when you are baking pizza at your home okay what you are using you are using cheese you are using toppings i would use the black marker cheese toppings tomato sauce pizza base fire oven electric gas these things you are using right so everything you are managing at your home is it correct yes or no yes okay so everyone you are managing everything you are managing at your home uh, to bake a pizza correct but if someone is providing you the service if someone is providing you the service how you are getting these services you are getting these services in the form of a service model so we are having something called as ias we are having something called pas we are having something called saas okay so ias means infrastructure as a service pas means platform as a service and saas means software as a service okay IAS pass and saas infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service okay let's understand what i am trying to say so here you can see that see in the infrastructure as a service instead of baking complete setup at your home instead of baking complete pizza at your home what you are basically uh, if someone is providing you the infrastructure let's suppose you are purchasing these things these things from the market am i clear these things you are purchasing from the market right in this thing everything you are preparing at your home or baking at your home but here in the infrastructure service you are getting the infrastructure to build to bake your pizza am i clear you are these are the infrastructure right these are the infra uh, these are the infrastructure right so this is one thing this is okay you are uh, you are having this infrastructure right cheese toppings sauce and pizza pizza base right so these you are purchasing from the market am i clear guys am i clear yes or no these you are purchasing from the market and on the top of it yeah. yes 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 sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay so yes, and sir, the top yes, sir. Of, okay thanks and on the top of it you are baking the, you are you are having these things on your house right so if you are seeing this infrastructure as a service means basically you are baking a pizza at your home, uh, home but you are getting some services from the market that is your infrastructure now second thing is your platform as a service platform as a service means let's suppose when you are ordering from your food delivery app like swiggy swiggy zomato you are doing right so in that case you can see that from base to top from this particular thing everything they are making okay here you are not purchasing anything you are just ordering from the your food ordering app or you are calling at the pizza hut or various outlets in the india or uh, outside that and you are just having this thing at your home and you are Uh, enjoying so, so that is called platform as a service means someone is giving you the platform to order a pizza <laughs> am i clear okay so any anything wrong with the anyone right i i would request the team to please uh, mute the participants because it was really difficult uh, to continue the class like that i'm sorry for that okay this is this not is the behavior good. this is not the behavior i am expecting in my classes okay i'm really sorry for that okay thank you okay so here you can expect that uh, the platform as a service okay so here on the top of it you are baking a pizza okay and you are ordering it from your food delivery app 
okay now after that you will be choosing a particular thing that is called software as a service so now you are going out and having a pizza that is called dining out you are having going into the particular outlet and you are having a pizza at that so that is called software as a service so the reason to explain you these concept before our we will discuss about the it infrastructure the reason is that so that you will be clear that what is the services model okay now if you are clear with it i would like to take you to our main concept of service model which is taking place in the it industry or the um, our infrastructure so first thing what we need to understand is that here now if you look in the in this particular diagram again see everything you are managing at your home yes or no guys see everything the particular corporate client has been managing from bottom to top don't worry about these terms okay i am just here to make you understand about the concept Co terms we will discuss in the particular course itself but just i am explaining you what is service model okay so here you can see that a typical traditional it means before the cloud has came into picture this blue box everything is been managed by the client by the client themselves okay now after that guys what is happening after that what is happening uh, just a minute yeah okay after that what is happening guys here so here you can see that again uh, here you can see that yes infrastructure as service now so guys when the cloud has came into picture it has given this this and this this is nothing but the just uh, i have told you right service model what i am exactly discussing i am discussing nothing but this thing right ias pass and saas right so that's what we are discussing in the terms of it now okay let's understand see again this gray box whatever you are seeing as a gray right from networking storage these thing everything is been managed by your vendor or they are providing you the basic infrastructure to host your data let's suppose they are giving you storage they are giving you server they are giving you networking so these things they are providing you and on the top of it you are managing that's why it is called as infrastructure as a service infrastructure means let's suppose you example i am saying let's suppose you are taking um, a storage or server from the cloud computing vendor to use your or to perform your work that is called as infrastructure as a service okay let's suppose virtual machine storage accounts multiple things we will learn okay but just i am telling you what how does infrastructure as a service work now after that platform as a service platform as a service guys what do you mean by platform as a service see again platform as a service are common for the developers where they do not want to manage the virtual machine or the networking and all those things they are only concerned about their applications and data so that is called pass service we called it as a, you must have heard about these terms if you uh, know about the some part of cloud that it is called ias it is called pass okay and it is called saas software as a service understood so here you can see the pass means platform as a service someone is giving you platform but as a service okay someone is giving you software but as a service someone is giving you infrastructure but as a service okay so these are the things which we understood okay and after going forward after going forward now sir what is software as a service software as a service means here you are getting complete package from your vendor you do not need to manage any resources so sir what is the example of that example is outlook office 365 which you are using in your laptops microsoft office access powerpoint those things outlook right this is a perfect example of o365 o365 is a perfect example of saas software as a service where you are purchasing the complete bundle right o3 office 365 you are purchasing and you are using the services right so these are the things that is called ias pass and saas okay so this is where our service model stands i hope uh, we are clear with the service model itself okay am i clear with it guys are we good okay yes sir fine okay thank you so now we will be understanding about the now let's go to our back to our favorite slide this thing why guys i'm telling you please if you want to take a screenshot of that a snapshot whatever you want to take please take it this has been mostly asked in the various interviews discussion okay what is ias what is pass what is saas if you are attending if you are giving at 1 hour to this webinar also it should worth it 
you should be able to satisfy that yes i have learned such things otherwise there is no need to attend the webinar okay so if you are in the my class if you are in the uh, session of any going forward if you have the sessions accordingly please you have to prepare the two things first of all a particular physical notebook okay a small notebook no you do not need to write anything on your laptop or notepad nothing i am strictly saying a particular small pieces of notebook uh, like a small notebook you can have and also whatever the assignments we are giving you should be doing accordingly okay so those things you should if you do those things definitely we are good okay now let's come back to our topic and let's understand this is service model we have already understood and second is your deployment model okay so let's understand what is deployment model okay so service model how they are giving us the services that is called service model but how our data or application actually stored in the cloud that is called deployment model let's understand about the deployment model so now whenever we understood about the deployment model we are having these four terms very common public cloud private cloud and hybrid okay so if you want to learn or if you want to remember it for your particular uh, knowledge so first thing second thing third thing and this is a fourth so basically if you look for the various google uh, information also mainly you will find these three three only okay community is the also there but mostly we are using in common that is public private and hybrid at least actually community is a, some kind of mixture about public and mostly about the private we will discuss about that but is a combination of application of public so this is the four thing so if you want to learn yeah, any any way if you want to learn the cloud deployment model first second third and fourth okay we will be learning about them don't worry we will be exploring one by one each and every options okay so let's start with our further discussion now this is a beautiful slide about the public cloud model okay public cloud model now what is the public cloud model public cloud model is nothing but a particular let's suppose uh, let's uh, let's suppose i would uh, say that this this particular blue box you are seeing okay this particular blue box is having and these are let's suppose the various services okay this is a common place this is a common place where the multiple services or multiple resources are kept don't worry about these messaging services application services compute service we will study about them but just consider it as a particular resource any particular object is sitting or let's suppose you or or understand like this let's suppose you have a notebook one notebook here another notebook here no3 third notebook fourth notebook and five fifth notebook notebook right a physical copy right now this is a particular let's suppose a librarian okay who is managing these notebooks who is managing these notebooks let's consider it about a library a common place where this person is also read uh, can use the book okay in the library what is happening multiple books are kept right and this user this uh, student is also learn uh, reading this use this user is also reading and fourth this user is also reading okay so at the common place when you are having the multiple books at the common place when you are having the multiple books these user a b c d is reading the particular about them is reading the particular about them okay so these are the these are the uh, uh, these are the resources which they are utilizing these are the resources which they are utilizing okay so we can understand these things that is this user this user all are using these services but from the common place but from the common place similarly we are having the same scenario in the cloud also we are having the multiple services kept and anyone is using the services so that is called as public cloud model okay so example of public cloud model what is the example sir of public cloud model example is like your aws console or your azure portal okay your azure portal azure portal is like a vendor we will study about the azure is also like kind of a particular technology in the cloud okay so these are the particular you can say companies who is providing you the cloud services so what i say this particular this uh, <clears throat> let's yeah so what i say that uh, we are having aws okay and we are having azure also we are having 
Azure also. So we'll study about these things, okay? But just understand that I'm just telling you the example of public cloud that is your Azure model, okay? So this is called as public cloud model. Now again, private cloud model. So what do you mean by the private cloud? Private cloud model means a particular place which is only for you or which is only for me or which is only for a particular person or a particular organization. OK, so your application, your information and your cloud operating system, everything. So this complete box has owned by one company that is called private cloud. Simple public means anyone can sit, anyone can host their data. That is called public cloud. Private cloud means only a respective person can host their data. OK, there are multiple things that is talking about the security cost about that, but just for a time being, you should understand that public cloud is much more cheaper as compared to the private cloud. Private cloud is much more expensive as compared to the public cloud. OK, so you need to understand the pr private cloud model. OK, now the example of private cloud, sir. Private cloud means let's suppose you are having a one company. Uh, OK, and you are hosting a particular data for your client. In that case, let's suppose uh, IBM Bluemix. OK, a particular cloud which is having only for their company people that is called as private cloud. OK, so that is called as private cloud model. Now hybrid hybrid again as the name suggests hybrid hybrid means combination. So you are having public also you're having private also. So in this case what you're having guys in this case you're having a public and you're having a private also both combination. OK, so uh, I will give you one simple and best example of your hybrid cloud hybrid cloud means in the public cloud model. What is public cloud? Public cloud means let's suppose where everyone data is present, right? So let's let's understand one example. Let's suppose there is a, a bank called um, SAL, SAL bank. OK, so this is a particular bank where he want uh, where they wants to host the data. Let's suppose the uh, fixed deposit uh, or re, uh, returned uh, recurring deposit about that promotional messages, right? Promotional events about that or the promotional information about them, right? So where they should store? They can store in the public cloud, yes or no? They can store in the public cloud, but for the user credentials, but for the user credential, let's suppose internet login, username and password, right? They need a such solution that is called private. Now you got it. So a particular organization is asking for both the way that they want to uh, uh, host the data for the common place so that it uh, the, uh, even if their data is being compromised or someone is taking the data, it's still fine. That's why they are hosting this promotional uh, information or saving them in the public cloud. OK, but if you have the user credentials, user credentials or I can write it with this user credential. OK, so in that cases you can use the private model. So that is what hybrid understood. So we are using hybrid just like a public is separate private is separate and if you need both of them at the same time you should be going with the uh, um, hybrid cloud model. OK, so this is called as hybrid. OK, this is one thing which we need to understand. OK, now let's uh, go further for that and. <clears throat> now fourth thing is your community cloud model. Fourth thing is your community cloud model. OK, now community cloud model is nothing but a particular place where you are. Uh, so so for uh, these three things you got it right. Uh, public, private and hybrid. Everyone got it public, private and hybrid. Yes. Yes or no guys are we good? Yes, OK, sir. fine. So now fourth is your community cloud. Community cloud means again you can look uh, as the uh, uh, this figure is suggesting this organization, this organization people and this mainly second organization people all are using the same infrastructure. All are using the same infrastructure. Let's suppose uh, this is one company. OK, and this is their child company. Child company means child company means a subsidiary 
of that company let's suppose first they have open organization one after that their next ancestors or their partners have opened a new firm but again it is a child company of uh, first organization but again they are using they are using some infrastructure they are using some infrastructure or the particular community model and again the same they can be used by the other community uh, other organization or their child company so they are, they are also using so community cloud means multiple people are using uh, in a particular infrastructure a particular infrastructure to host their data okay so yeah, a particular infrastructure to host their data now you will say that uh, then it will be similar to the public cloud also the answer is no why because here you can see that we are having a common place but at the same time we are having a different different services also we are not using the same infrastructure but here i am talking about the infrastructure means a computing let's suppose i am using a cpu okay a same same kind of infrastructure cpu a compute unit can be utilized by this person this organization and the, the the other organization so that is called as community cloud model okay so this is all about your deployment model whatever we understood so till now whatever we discuss guys i will just quickly summarize it i am from the past 15 to 20 minutes i am only discussing this cloud model what is cloud model that is service model and what is deployment model what is ias ias means infrastructure as a service what is pass platform as a service what is saas software as a service okay so these things you should be remembering and what is the deployment model public cloud private cloud and hybrid you can see hybrid is a combination of public as well as private one more is there that is called as community cloud okay so i hope uh, this is a good discussion we have done on this particular various model okay now uh, let's understand that where uh, we are using the cloud computing okay so we will be understanding about the cloud use cases okay cloud use case means where we are using actually we are using the cloud computing technology where in what what fields we are using right next question came to in your mind that where we use the cloud so our next answer is that this the particular cloud computing can be used in the various uh, uh, companies the most important company or the firm they are using is pearson anyone knows about the pearson no so for your information i am telling you what is pearson pearson is a particular leading provider for conducting your microsoft examinations let's suppose tomorrow if you are going to appear for any microsoft certification microsoft certification sir means microsoft certification means let's suppose if you want to apply appear for your administration or anything any certification you want to gain from the microsoft any technical certification any technical certification this is the company who is conducting that exam pearson okay so you can note it down sometimes these questions can be asked so that the interviewer can know that how much you are interested from this subject okay so these are the small small topics or the discussions you should be focused on okay okay so this is a pearson is using the cloud to transform the way it delivers education worldwide so they are also delivering the education as well as they are conducting the microsoft exam also okay so this is just like a basic use case about that okay now uh, we have something called as cloud vendors also okay so cloud vendors who are the cloud vendors guys cloud vendors means who is actually providing you the services okay now this is very important to you know to the uh, uh, you should know that who are the cloud vendors vendors means who is providing you the cloud services so first is your amazon web services that is your aws second is your microsoft third is your google rackspace and multiple things are there okay so these are the multiple vendors available in the market to provide you the services okay so these are the vendors vendors means who is giving you the cloud computing services okay mainly the most important you can say the competitor in this market is your aws so aws is a product from amazon aws is a product from amazon and microsoft microsoft is providing a particular product that is called azure that is called microsoft azure 
Okay, and rest is your Google, Rackspace, Verizon, Profit Breaks. These are the multiple companies who is giving you the cloud services. Now and then, multiple organization is providing. He started providing you the cloud services, but most trusted, or you can say these are the also trusted. Okay, not to worry, but these are the main competitors. These are, they have captured. So 33% uh, as per my knowledge in the cloud market has been captured by AWS and followed by the Microsoft Azure, Google and other things. OK, so these are the cloud vendors actually who is providing the cloud services. OK. Now uh, these things are there, so. Now uh, this is pretty much about the cloud computing, OK, but from the which vendor we are learning our codes or from which uh, particular technology we are using. So we are using the cloud computing technology, but inside that we our mainly course will uh, deal or the particular webinar or the particular discussion uh, mode of discussion should be based upon this term that is Microsoft Azure. That is Azure is one of the tool. OK, who is providing this tool? Microsoft is providing this tool means this is a product from Microsoft. Now, sir, when this product has been launched, so Microsoft Azure has launched on 1st of February. 2010. OK, 2010 they have launched it, so it's being now 12 successful years of Microsoft Azure. OK, so earlier there was a project called uh, Red. OK, uh, in 2009 or 8, they have been finally formulated into this 1st of Feb 2010. Now, sir, what is Azure? So Azure is a cloud platform that is having more than 200 product and cloud services. 200 product means let's suppose you need a database, you need a storage, you need a networking, you need a server, you need a multiple things just like you are managing in your or traditional environment. Let's suppose at your home you are having a hard disk. OK, at your home you are having a laptop. You are having you are managing a charger, electricity, everything you are managing to run that laptop. Fine, even if the, it is operating on a battery. Yes, it's completely fine. You are managing the complete thing, but same services. Or you can say the server storage account can be provided by this particular tool or by this particular um, uh, product of Microsoft that is called Microsoft Azure. So generally we read like this MS Azure, Microsoft Azure. OK, we read like Microsoft Azure. So Azure Cloud Platform is more than 200 product and cloud services designed to help you bring new solutions to the life to solve today's challenges and create the future. You can build, run, manage application. Let's suppose you are a developer. You're writing a code, right? You're writing a Java code, C++ code or Python, or multiple things you are. You have developed a PHP websites also. Yes, my friend, you can host it in the Azure also. You can you host it in the AWS also. The that's why why the people are moving actually to the cloud. This is the main reason. This is the main reason that uh, uh, the companies are attracting the customer. You can see that now today, as per my knowledge, uh, guys, mostly 500 Fortune companies are already using the cloud, and in which Microsoft Azure is been common. Okay, so obviously I can say that AWS. Came in, I guess, uh, uh, 2003 or 2004. I'm not remembering about the exact year about AWS. OK, uh, that doesn't mean I don't like AWS. That doesn't mean, but yes, uh, that is a, like it's a super platform as well. But I'm just telling you, you can see that within 12 years, how how this particular product has been evolved. OK, so that is called Microsoft Azure, which the basic history or the uh, you can say basic disc, uh, like uh, description about this product. OK. So this is called Microsoft Azure. Now, what is the particular uh, Azure benefits of Microsoft Azure? So we have certain benefits that uh, you should be knowing that first of all, you can build your application. You can host your websites also in the cloud, as I told you. OK, second, you can extend your on premises. Now, what do you mean by the on premises? OK, guys, whenever you heard about this term on premise, whenever whether you are working in the corporate or in your some of the project, what is what do you mean by the on premise? On premise means a particular uh, a particular data 
or the particular set of servers which is being managed by the client itself which is being hosted by the client itself let's suppose let's make it simple of and to understand this word let's suppose you have a office you have a office your own office and you are managing everything from starting from your uh, 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 laptops your networking server room electricity everything everything you are managing that comes in the on premises so before the cloud has came into picture now also multiple clients have been managing this word called on prem on prem means you are having your own office setup you are not taking any help from the cloud computing vendor but you are managing everything that also it is written over here you can extend your on premise data and application to the cloud let's suppose if you have something in your on prem also you can bring that in the cloud also it doesn't means you can take your laptop and go in the cloud no it doesn't means it means that you can transfer your data from that laptop to the cloud itself there are multiple options using import and export job using data box disk multiple things that is separate okay and also you can deploy the cloud based application you can deploy your same cloud on let's suppose you have created any website in the on premises on your laptop that can be also you can deploy in the cloud okay so you can see that how much it has been useful in the uh, today's scenario okay now here you can understand that you can uh, one more thing why the people or this can be asked in the interview also uh, that first of all why should we move to the cloud why should we move to the cloud so you can get these reasons but most strong reason for your answer and to give the answer is this uh, to this question that why we, the people are moving to the cloud first is to achieve global scale in your local region let's suppose you are uh, you are sitting in bangalore location okay you are sitting in bangalore location and you can uh, deploy the resource in can central us you can deploy the U, uh, resource in central us means means what i'm saying that if you are having if you are hosting the data uh, if you are sitting at one place okay if you are uh, sitting at one place you can deploy the resources in the multiple region uh, around the globe okay let's suppose if you want to host the data in canada central also okay canada central so you can create the uh, server in the canada central and you can start using that because again you need to whatever you are using you are using over to the internet okay and again if after 2 months if you don't need this this server what you will do either you can delete it or you can shut down this server that's it as simple as that okay and also you will be having a control over the security also so if you uh, if you intend to go like you can go for that and you can have a security out of that okay so this is all about the microsoft azure discussion along with the cloud okay so we have discussed that now uh, one more thing who are the popular azure customer azure customers are those people who are actually using the cloud services okay so let's suppose if uh, uh, you are giving us so who, customers basically what who is actually using the cloud services now what do you mean by sir azure customer who is using the cloud services through this azure provider okay so that is called as powerful azure customers okay so this is all about your particular thing that is called microsoft azure customer okay so this is ends of our presentation okay now i would quickly like to show you something so that uh, you will be able to understand that okay so you can see that uh, we will be dealing with this particular portal that is uh, what is this portal called as portal.azure.com okay portal.azure.com so whatever we are doing this practical we will be coming over here and performing this practical okay so uh, let me just uh, uh, show you the basic overview of the portal and then we can we are good with our today's discussion okay okay so i believe i'm forgetting the password of that okay just give me a second one second just a minute one second just let me log into this account okay oh, just give me a second Okay, 
so what i'm doing guys i'm just uh, i wanted to show you how the azure portal looks like so this is your portal portal.azure.com you can see that this is the this is the uh, azure portal how it looks like you can see these these are the various resources you are having these if you want to search anything let's suppose you want to search for the server we can call it as virtual machine this we will understand when we will discuss about them but i am just showing you how it looks like see multiple resources are there if you need a database if you need a database you can have the database if you need a virtual net if you need want to host the networks you can host it if you want a db database if you need a storage account you can get this thing if you need a server like a normal laptops if you want to deploy uh, not the physical it is a virtual right that's why it is called virtual machines so everything is uh, given by the cloud vendor now who is providing you cloud computing and from which company you are getting these services from the microsoft azure we are getting these services okay so this is all about the things so we will discuss these things in uh, further classes but just this is a basic overview of the cloud along with the azure okay so i hope uh, we are good with it with the discussion yep so yep uh, so uh, surya you can take it uh, ahead i guess uh, we are good with the today's session Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It is such a honor for me to get the opportunity to thank you. And on behalf of NGC Club Com uh, Cloud Computing VITAP, I extend a warm welcome to the people in the gathering here. I would like to express my gratitude to us, estimate the leader of uh, a seminar, Mr. Rajat Prakar, sir. Uh, tell you done a very great job and uh, you explained uh, very well. And we let uh, like all the people uh, who don't know the cloud computing, I guess they got a clarity. About uh, cloud computing or else something else uh, on the cloud computing. Uh, this is not end of our cloud computing sessions. Uh, we'll be dealing for in future also for the cloud computing sessions also, guys. Uh, if you had any doubts, uh, uh, if you had any doubts regarding anything about cloud computing, you can put over here because we had an expert, a worst person as our speaker here now. So if you want to ask anything else, you can ask, guys. The, uh, Stage is open for you. If you want, raise your hands. I'll unmute you, or else you can use chat box. Yes, uh, someone are uh, raising their hands. Okay, okay. <coughs> Yeah, Krishna Nima, you can uh, open your mic. You can unmute yourself and you can ask what you want. Yes, sir. Am 